In this week's video, our Munimit room, aka archive room, is on the verge of completion. I'll touch up, I'm like, touch up, touch up. However, it's been incredibly challenging with leaks, bugs, and stains. But the transformation is astounding. I have finished this bookcase-ish. I'd like to now think of myself as a qualified decorator, thanks to my mentor, Barry. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. that's it, that's it. That's it, work it, work it, Barry. Today is the big day, right, Barry? Yes, ceiling. <laughs> ceiling, today is the ceiling. I'm painting the ceiling and Barry is sanding down the bookcases because we then need to zinzer them. Yes, right, because the paint won't stay on that stain. Won't stay on the stain. And it's perished, so it's, it's, that's why it's coming off. Right, right, <clears throat> and then we're going to paint. Oh my gosh, it's an exciting day, everybody. So get ready for some time lapses and you're gonna see change. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Me and Barry today, <laughs> and tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. <laughs> this, is, this is it, everybody. Mylands has gifted the paint and the name of the ceiling color is called Holland Park. It is white though. Let's just have a look. Oh, yeah, nice. Nice. So you might be wondering why I'm wearing this. Yeah. Barry was wondering as well. Yeah, I gave him a good giggle when I came in though, didn't I? Pardon? You, I did give you a good giggle when I came in like this. So we are on, we're, we're on scaffolding and ladders. And because we've just painted, you can see it a little bit shiny, um, the ceiling above, I'm not going in for the second coat um, doing the edges, which is already dry because I did that at the beginning, but because this is still a little bit wet, I just don't want it to get like all over my hair. Ceiling has been finished. Ceiling, ceiling looks amazing, by the way. Um, Barry and I just did like, it's perfect. The ceiling's perfect, but this is it, everybody. This is the first coat of the color that we're putting on. Now I've got new um, skirting here. Look at, oh my gosh. So it doesn't matter so much if I get it onto the skirting. I haven't taped it because I'll tell you why, because the skirting color is like a dark green. So here I am. This is just obviously one coat. Everything needs to be two coats and I'm going to sit here tonight until Barry comes back. It's beautiful light outside. First coat is on. Well, you know what I mean, first color. That's gonna be so pretty. So I'm so pleased, ceiling's amazing. Wow, beautiful light outside. I'm gonna put some music on and off I go to paint this annoying part, but then it's gonna be fun to ch -ch 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 roll it all up, put the bookcases in. We're getting there, everybody, we are getting there. So we've just finished this side first coat, haven't we? Yes, right, yes. And we're feeling good about it. We like it. Well, yes, yes. It's nice, isn't and it? It's drying as well. So we yeah. should be able to get another coat on So later. everybody, we're, we're gonna get, hopefully get another coat on all of it today. So you've got, we still have these bookcases, but the reason we're doing this wall first is so that we can put these bookcases back and then paint them the colors that we want to paint them. And I know that's a bit controversial because people are like, why wouldn't you keep it? But we are gonna paint them. It's a big thing to paint bookcases in, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, and it's gonna look super smart, everybody. Okay, so what there is is where the old curtains were with those things. Ooh. Oh, good, very good. Oh my 
gosh, I'm gonna get up on the ladder. No, I'll be it. Okay. So this is exciting. Lifting yep, off. yep, yep, good. It's lifting off the feet. Yep, good, good. Oh my gosh. Yes, Barry. What? It's good. <laughs> I think so. It's lifting off this. Okay, okay, great. Oh my gosh, what did they put in there? No. What? Oh my gosh, Barry, you did it! Yes! Barry, you did it! We've done first coat, everybody. First coat. And. Really excited. Now Barry's mixing up um, second coat. And yeah, by the time we leave tonight, we would have done two coats in the meanwhile room. Don't you think so, Barry? Yeah, I should have think so. Well, we should think so. We hope so. Fingers crossed, everybody. Wow, it's looking really good. Living at Mapperton is a great privilege, but it's also a big responsibility. Most of all, we've got to make sure that we repair and maintain this extraordinary house and all the historic buildings, as well as the collection of pictures and furniture and archives for future generations. But we are so grateful to our global community of patrons for their support. And it really does mean we can complete restoration projects and repairs that otherwise wouldn't be possible. Now, as a patron, you get some amazing benefits. And these include things like early access to all our videos. We do extra videos on Mapperton Live for patrons only. Signed photos uh, from us, of course. Uh, then there's tea towels, magnets, bookmarks, postcards. We also have live monthly Q&As with Julie and me and our patrons, as well as discounts on staying at our holiday lets here at Mapperton. There's also, for the top tiers, an annual live tea party. Plus, you get your name in the patron book next to the First Earl's Journal in the library. But more importantly, you get to connect with us and other patrons and join a wonderful growing community that, you know, it's really supporting this important part of England's heritage. So please consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com forward slash Mapperton Live. And we really look forward to meeting and welcoming you there. Thank you. Thank you. Just when you thought the sanding was done, because we started painting, it's not. So we've somehow, Barry and I, with our big muscles, have removed the bookcase from the wall and we're now sanding it. And we've got to patch up some holes again, but it's not too big of a space. And then we'll be able to zinzer it. So in, I'm gonna continue painting the lovely green from Mylan, Serpentine. Barry's gonna get back there and sand and get it ready to be, hopefully, we still think we can paint it today because Zinzer doesn't take that long to dry. Fingers crossed. This is the wall, everybody. So this is, this is the wall that you can see a real difference, sort of the wall up above that's been Zinzered and then the wall that we've just pulled the bookcase away from. But, you know, we're experts at this now. We know what we're doing, right, Barry? Yes. Yeah, we do, we do. We, we've got it under control. So the walls have been double, what do you call it, Barry? Two coats. <laughs> it's been a long morning. <laughs> two, court, two coats, and now this is the woodwork, everybody. So this is the doors, and this is going on the skirting all around. But we're just letting, look at this, this is a thing of beauty, this color. So it's getting there, getting there, right, Barry? All right, Barry is making good on the doors. He has filled in patches, now sanding down. Look at that. 
Looks nice when it's sanded down, well, like this isn't sun, it? This sun sand, lovely, this stuff. Yeah, wow. It's very hard as well. If you leave it too long, a couple of days, you've got to jump the sand it. Oh, right. So we don't want to leave it too no, long. No, that's what I'm doing it now. Yeah. It goes off in about five, ten minutes. Yeah. So, and then I'm just about to do the second coat yeah. of the skirting. If it's dry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Looks, well, what I'm going to do, I'll check it. I'll check it. But there you go, everybody. Woo. Looking good. Getting there. And then we've got to do that door as well. is coming on. I kind of go around and do the top and then I do second coat. I've got lots of paint brushes here because I want to make it perfect, Barry. So Barry's behind, almost done with those doors, it looks like. Yes? Yep. We've got real team effort here. Um, but it looks so, when you do the second coat, it's like, wow. This is the beautiful color that we're using for the inside of the book cases. Look at that. Wow. This is gonna be fun to put on. As you can see, I have done the inside of this bookcase as well as those two, which are adjoined. And then there's one behind me and that one is done as well. So what I'm doing now is I'm just using the top of the paint tin. I don't want to um, not use any paint. And I'm just going in to bits that are quite tricky to get into and just make sure that they've got um, the red uh, going through um, and covering the screen. I know that probably through the camera, the screen, this was a bookcase that was up against the muniment wall, in fact, behind the camera and had already been painted. This is obviously gonna be painted a very dark green. You can kind of see the first coat on that bookcase over there, but um, not even close to the color that it's meant to be because that looks, doesn't look dark green because it's the very first coat and it's going on white. So this, I was up until uh, midnight um, last night, trying to get this done in time for next week and for something next week, my father-in-law's 80th birthday. I'd like to get it done by then. I don't know if I'll be able to, but we did today as I'm painting this, is actually Easter Sunday. And it was really nice because we were able to go into the, I, I, we came through the monument room to go into church and it was just nice for everybody to see, especially now that the dark green door is finished on the church. I mean, everything looks really smart. So I think as soon as these are done, which I, my plan is to get these finished late into the evening or at least what I can, uh, tonight and bookcases tonight. This obviously all has to dry and then I've got to go through it again just to make sure I haven't missed spots, which I'm doing now. And yeah, uh, but I hope to get all the dark green done or at least one coat of the dark green done tonight. Possibly two, but depends on how fast it dries. Anyway, that's the latest over here in the meanwhile room. really late now. <laughs> I've been here all day and what I'm starting to do now is the um, shelves that I prepped. I'm now going to put one coat on them and there's about, I don't know, 25, 30, 35 shelves. I'm not sure. 
put one coat on them so that when I wake up tomorrow, I can then do the other coat. But, um, gosh, I feel like I live in this room, which is great because I love this room and this motivates me. But here we go, everybody. <sighs> More shelves. I'm a bit delirious because I have been here for hours, like days and days and days. But I've been able to second coat all of the shelves and there's so many as you can see, but some of them got stuck together last night. So I'm just doing that, which will be fine on a couple of them that got stuck together. I have finished this bookcase-ish. So what that mean, what I mean by that is there's a couple places I still need to do a second coat on and that's drying. So I have to get under here, my magic wand, but, um, and second coat that. So it's funny how you, when you do this project, you're like, oh, and I need to do a little bit more red here and I forgot to do this. So I should be finished with this bookcase in about an hour. And then after that, there's still lots of touch ups to do everybody. Then. I'm going to take, and that's going to be the tricky bit, is taking back this stuff here. So I'm peeling that away to start the floor. I'm about eight hours behind schedule, you know, let's truth be known. And every time I see like a little touch up, I'm like, touch up, touch up, touch up. Yeah. All right. Well, Nearly there, ish, kind of, she says, ha ha. Not really, crazy. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going back to work. I gotta finish this. First of all, I just want to say thank you to Mylands. Mylands has gifted us not only the beautiful pink colors that you see on the skirting, on the wall, in the bookcases, around the bookcases, but Mylands has also gifted us uh, Mylands of London, um, basically for sort of the finishes for the wood. So the problem is, is that we did a light sand. We didn't sand it all the way back. You saw me sanding before. We decided just to do a light sand thing about this room is that I don't want it to be like perfect, perfect, the floor, because this is an old house. So it's got to have, I got to keep some of the character, but, and then I've got the wax to put on afterwards. So what I have here is I've asked for three different colors because it's, you can see here that this has never been stained because something was on top of this. And here we stripped it back a bit. So I'm going to try on this one, the burnt, oak first because I think that's the darkest and then I've got sort of less dark colors I've got a brown earth and then I have a washed umber all right so let's just try this not is it too dark let's go one whoa okay mmm no looking good yeah Wow, I think, what do we think? Okay, so there's that one. Burn oak is quite dark, but these floors are dark, but is it too dark? Let's try brown earth. Just give it a little shake. Let's just try this. This is brown earth. Okay, let's go on this one. Oh, mm, no, mm -mm. Let's just try the next one. That's why I got three. We're now going to try washed umber, just in case. Washed umber, everybody. Whoa. Don't put that in there. Oh, nice. Oh. <gasps> no, I think it's too brown. I don't know. I don't know what to say. 
Definitely not brown earth, so we're ruling that out, okay? It's between washed umber and burnt oak. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's, it's definitely. That's too like mahogany and that one's just dark. I like it, it's very similar everybody, similar. Washed umber and burnt oak, similar vibes. But I'm feeling good with the burnt oak. <sighs> That is just a beautiful sight, everybody. It's just a beautiful sight. I just want to say a huge thank you to, <laughs> to Team Munimit Room, Raymond and Darren. Um, how was it putting the shelves? Not too bad, not too bad. We still ain't quite finished on over there. We still got the metal brackets to put back in, but yep. that's a little bit fiddly, so it's taking a little bit longer. Okay, all right, but look at this. Oh my gosh! No, I'm gonna bring in um, an archive folder and then you'll be able, and then you're gonna see. So I'll bring that in during lunch and I'll put the archive folder there so you can see the height. Right, Darren, is that what we agreed? Right, yeah. yeah. Okay, obviously, <laughs> this is, I'm gonna to have to paint that. <laughs> Well, you didn't miss it. Well, no, they were, they were, yeah. So I'll go do that right now, but nearly there. Yeah, I need to zinzer that and then, but still, you know, that's not gonna take me very long. No, no, no. There we go. Thanks everybody.